Peace, royal family. And thank you all for tuning in to another edition of the original histories of ancient Libya and migrations of the ancient world. I am your king and royal majesty, Pharaoh Mitzrahim, historian, geographer, and the voice of truth. And today I will be revealing the truth on a subject, proof the ancient Israelites were not black, but the Egyptians were black. But before we get started, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you and let us now begin our journey to truth. Let us now begin our lesson and identify who were the ancient Israelites. And to identify who were the ancient Israelites, we must go to the Bible and read the scripture where it gives a description on the garments of the ancient Israelites. And it is found here in the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. And it says in quotes, Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of thy garments throughout their generations. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 12. Thou shalt make thee fringes upon the four quarters of thy vesture, wherewith thou coverest thyself. According to the scripture we just read, the children of Israel, or the ancient Israelites, wore fringes on their garments. And to identify historically who were the people dwelling in this region of Canaan, that wore fringes on their garments, we must go to the oldest tomb art in ancient Egypt that depicts people wearing fringes on their garments. And it is found here in the tomb of Seti I, dated to the 13th century BCE. And it is known as the Book of Gates, Races of Mankind. And it shows the following, light brown skin Asiatics, jet black skinned Nubians, beige white skinned Libyans, and dark brown skinned Egyptians. And as we can see, the people wearing fringes on their garments are the light brown skinned Asiatics with long hair and beards, but not the jet black Nubians and not the dark brown skinned black Egyptians. And thanks to this image, we now know that the ancient Israelites were indeed these light brown skinned Asiatics and they were not black like the Egyptians and Nubians. But let's continue. Let us now go to other images that depicts the people in Canaan wearing fringes on their garments. And it is found here in the tomb of Ramesses III, dated to the 1200s BCE. And as we can see, Ramesses III himself is depicted as dark reddish brown skin or dark brown skin, just like the Egyptians shown on the Book of Gates, Races of Mankind. And here is an image dated to the reign of Ramesses III that shows the captive enemies of ancient Egypt. And it shows the following, light brown skin Libyans, jet black skin Nubians and light yellow skin Asiatics. And as we can see, the people wearing fringes on their garments are the light yellow skin Asiatics, proving again that these Asiatics or ancient Israelites were not black, but they look the same as the people in Israel or Palestine in the Middle East today. But let us continue. And to add more support to the fact that the ancient Israelites were not black, I am going to show images depicting the people living in Canaan during the 15th century BCE to the 12th century BCE. And it is found here in the New Kingdom ancient Egyptian tomb art dated to the 18th dynasty, 19th dynasty, and 20th dynasty of Egypt. And as we can see, according to these images, the skin color for the people living in Canaan range from light brown skin to light yellow skin to white skin. And these people living in Canaan were never black like the Egyptians and Nubians. 
and were never fully melanated like the Egyptians and Nubians. And thanks to these images, we now know that the people living in Canaan were like brown skin, yellow skin, and white skin, and they were never black. But they looked the same as the modern day Arabs and the people of the Middle East today, and they looked the same as the people living in Israel or Palestine today. But let us continue. Now that we have discovered the truth that the ancient Israelites and the people of Canaan were never black, let us now focus on who the real black people were. In accordance to the source and the sole authority on the races in ancient Egypt, the Book of Gates, Races of Mankind, from the tomb of Seti I, we clearly see the real black people in Africa or ancient Libya were indeed the dark reddish brown skinned Egyptians and the jet black skinned Nubians. And we also see the Egyptians represent all dark brown skinned people and brown skinned people of Africa. And the Nubians represent all jet black skinned people of Africa. But we also see the Egyptians are never depicted as the same skin color as the light brown skinned Asiatics and the white skinned Libyans, proving that the ancient Egyptians were one color, dark brown skin. And this also debunks any ideal that the ancient Egyptians were a multiracial people. But we clearly see, according to the evidence, that the ancient Egyptians were one dark reddish brown skinned people indigenous to Africa, and the ancient Egyptians were not a multiracial people. And according to ancient Egyptian tomb art, we clearly see that the skin color of the ancient Egyptians ranged from brown skin to dark brown skin to black skin, and the skin color of the Nubians range from dark brown skin to black skin. And this thus proves that the real black people dwelt in Africa, and the real black people were the Egyptians and the Nubians. But most importantly, it has been proven that the Israelites were not black. And on this, I conclude.